Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so you're probably gonna tell from the dating of this one that I've actually ended up filming three fairly close together. Um, so this is kind of what happened. Before my laptop crashed um, and I didn't have it for the entirety of November, that's what it feels like, um, I'd had the October Roundup vlog filmed and I had one other vlog filmed. And the other vlog I had filmed, I wasn't particularly happy with. Um, and I refilmed it like two or three times at that point already, um, and I just I just wasn't particularly happy with the, the way it sounded, the way it came out. Um, There's just something about this particular topic that I just feel like I I am not doing a very good job of talking about it, and I've tried it. This is like the fourth attempt today of trying to refilm um, what would have been that vlog. Um, and I'm just struggling to verbalise it correctly, I'm struggling to talk about it correctly, I, I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but it's just one of those things where no matter how I try to talk about it, it doesn't feel like I'm talking about it in the right way. Um, so obviously when I got my laptop back, I edited the October Roundup vlog, I then filmed the November Roundup vlog, which replaced that video, that failed video. Um, and then I filmed one more so that I had the one ahead that I like to, to do, which is the one that would have gone out last week. Um, I then sat down today, started filming this vlog, have done this explanation like three or four times at this point today, um, and have attempted to do another version of that vlog, um, even though every single time that I do, it keeps failing and I don't know what it is, I just can't seem to talk about this particular topic in a way that feels right for me to talk about. Um, I will say what it was going or what I'm trying to get across with it, which is um, it's me talking about my experiences or my past experiences as an asexual and how, um, how I've got navigated relationships in the past and how I've kind of used a kind of mask of sexuality that isn't necessarily reflective of, of how I am and how in the relationship that I am in now I'm trying very hard to break away from the habits that I have formed trying to be sexual and trying to sexualize myself because society has kind of not pressured me necessarily but kind of taught me the idea that you need to be sexualized in a relationship because that's how relationships work and um, it's like me trying to very much navigate how to kind of get away from sexualizing myself um, and navigate a relationship where that isn't a necessary component um, and not actually necessarily doing a particularly good job of it at the moment because as I said, like I've had past experiences in relationships, there's been a lot of societal pressure um, in my 30 plus years on this planet um, that has kind of pressured me into thinking that you need to perform in a certain way when you're in a relationship. Um, and it's trying to sort of unlearn a lot of those habits and unlearn a lot of that masking that I had done um, in my previous relationships so that I can be more honest and authentic in this relationship about what I actually want and what, what, what I actually need because for the first time I'm in a relationship with somebody who doesn't um, doesn't require that sexual element in order for them to know the relationship is valid. Um, and it's not the easiest thing to talk about and to express. Um, a lot of it because, you know, it does go into a lot of personal stuff um and like I it will always make it sick it's this weird thing where it makes it sound like I feel like I've been pressured into behaving in this particular kind of way in the past and I don't think that I have necessarily um to me it's always felt more like I'm playing a role um so I get into a relationship and I play the role that I'm supposed to play within that relationship and I don't necessarily play it 
overly well. I'm not overly enthusiastic about it. Um, I'm not, you know, I, I don't pretend that I'm more interested in these things than I actually am. Um, it's more a case of I, I still sort of, I know what's expected, therefore I make sure the, that something along those lines is happening enough so that the other person isn't worried about anything. Um, but it is very much me playing a role. Nobody's forced me to play this role. I'm choosing to play this role. Um, but it's not necessarily how I would be wanting to act in a relationship. It's just me playing the role of being in a relationship and playing what I think is expected of me within that relationship. Um, and I'm now in a situation where I'm trying to reteach myself how to act in a relationship because I've spent so long knowing certain expectations um, and think, you know, feeling like there are certain expectations and feeling like I need to play a particular role that going into a relationship where I'm not expected to act in a particular way and I'm not expected to play a particular role is very different and it's not uh it's not a bad thing it's definitely not a bad thing it's a very good thing but it's sort of the case of i don't know how i'm supposed to behave so sometimes i will slip into old habits um and i will say things in a particular way and, and this is mostly to do with like how i'll flirt or how i'll sort of flirt banter um and it's not necessarily those are the sorts of things that I want to be saying um, or how I want to be coming across. Um, I've like the longer I've been in this relationship, the less I try to do things like that or the less I've noticed I've been doing things like that. Um, I, you know, because like the, the language of flirting that I have used has always been a particular kind of language of flirting. And I understand the language of flirting. And very much at the beginning of the relationship, I would fall into a lot of those traps. Um, but as the relationship has gone on, and as I've realised that actually, you know, my, the, the cute friend doesn't really flirt or expect the flirting, or at least the type of flirting that I was previously used to and expecting, um, things have become a lot more easy for me to sort of to not fall into that trap and not sort of do those things that I've spent a long time convincing myself that I need to do even though it's just me kind of playing a role rather than me actually being me in the relationship so um yeah and again it's it's one of those things it's not easy to talk about and sort of verbalize exactly what the difference is are because all relationships are different or relationships have a different uh, rhythm to them and a different way of going about things um and sort of learning who you are in a relationship that is very different to what you've been used to so um although none of my relationships have been overly 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 sexualizing relationships um there's always been that expectation there um, to sort of to be in, in a relationship where it's not really there or it's not there in the way that has been previously. Um, and I, I very much feel like I don't need to play it up um, in the way that I have previously. Um, I feel a lot more comfortable, um, but as, at the same time, it's still trying to unlearn a lot of these habits that I've gotten into that are just there because that's what's expected and not there because it's what is wanted. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I think I've done a little bit better of a job explaining it this time. This is probably the happiest I am with the explanation, so I'm going to just like stop it here rather than get into any more of it because if I start getting into more of it it's just gonna mess up and fail and stop working um I mean I hope you kind of get what I'm sort of trying to say um which is that I as somebody on the a spectrum who has been in previous relationships um have felt like I've had to mask a lot of my asexuality in the past but I'm now in a relationship where I finally don't feel like I have to mask a lot of the asexuality. 
um, and that's a lot more comfortable for me to be in. Um, but at the same time, I'm still unlearning a lot of the tricks I learned from masking um, so that I can be more authentic to this relationship than I have been in previous relationships. And that's essentially what I'm trying to say here. That's essentially what the vlog is about. Um, I feel like this is the best explanation I've given for it. So I'm going to end it here. I uh, hope you found this one interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm talking about next time. And I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see ya!